Hello, this is Sherelle T. Martin with Empower to Thrive, and we help business owners create, build, and maintain financially thriving businesses. So last week we talked about creating a business and the five key steps that it takes to do just that. Well, this week we're going to talk about building a business. The focus here is about how to lay the foundation for your business so that you have four solid legs that you can stand on. So the first step at this phase is to figure it out. Do you have a strategy? Do you know how you're going to get clients and get sales? See, a lot of times small business owners don't take the time to figure things out about how, and plan how they're going to accomplish their goals of building a successful business. You have to factor in the challenges and the resources. Think about building a house. A builder just doesn't just go out and buy materials and start building a house, right? He creates a plan for the best place to build the house so that the foundation doesn't crumble. He creates a plan on how the house will design plan on how the house will look. And then he finds the right people to do the work so that the house can be an amazing house. It's the same thing with business. You have to sit and figure and plan every possible detail to ensure that your business will be able to survive. The next thing to remember is you can't do it alone. I hate to burst your bubble, but you can't build a business build a business by yourself. You need a support system. People who will have your back and your company's best interest at heart. You have to align yourself with people who will help you get to where you're trying to go. Paid and unpaid. So those are friends and then there's, you know, other professionals who can help you build your business. Using the same example with the building a house as the contractor, you are not doing the plumbing, the electrical, the drywall and managing the project. Not at all, right? If you are, then you really need to stop because you can't possibly build this house while you're also managing the team, right? You can't build a business. It's the same thing with business. You can't build the business if you're constantly working in your business. How can you effectively manage the job if you're working on the job? Hire and outsource everything that doesn't involve you getting more business in the door. And finally, you have to take action. Now that you've come up with this strategy and the people who are going to help you get there, it's time to take action. Remember, a plan without action is just a dream. Don't take the plan and then make it and then sit on it and then wait for that perfect opportunity that you can launch it because that opportunity that opportunity will never come. Grab your determination, your confidence, and your focus and just go for it. So now, I want to hear from you. What steps have you taken to build your business? Which ones led to success and which ones led to failure? Be sure to leave your comments over on our blog at EmpowerToThrive.com so that our Empower to Thrive community can benefit and learn. Did you like this video? If so, please subscribe so you can receive these tips directly every single week and share them with your friends, fans, and followers so that they too can benefit. And if you want more tools, tips, and resources on how to make your business a thriving one, then make sure you grab our free CD over at EmpowerToThrive.com. Now remember, in order to thrive financially in life and in business, you have to push past your fears, excel in your abilities, and soar to new heights. I look forward to talking to you next week. Take care and be empowered.